What is going on to you, Virgos? So, you Virgos have got the world, excuse me, the hanged man, the two of wands, king of swords, the ten of cups, the seven of cups, the chariot, lovers, the wheel of fortune, the knight of swords, and the three of pentacles. Mm. So, uh... Let's get into this. So the hangman, first and foremost, represents your opposite zodiac sign, Pisces. The hangman is uh, some of you Virgos may be just wanting for the bad times to stop. And all it is that you can really do, or I should say, you can do some things, but all it is that you can, that that's wisest for you to do is to just sit and wait and find some form of comfort in the ride. Uh, the discomfort is almost over. If you're going through any kind of difficulties with uh, relationships, then you're eventually gonna get so fed up that you're gonna stop talking to these people anyway. Um, the Two of Wands and the King of, of Swords, they do think of themselves as being quite intelligent and they like you, but the problem is, is that again, these are not people that are that you can really ever count on because these are people that is playing, they're basically playing hard to get. So a lot of you Virgos are getting to know someone right around now, if you Virgos are getting to know someone and it, do, and it doesn't seem like they're very consistent. It seems as if they're spotty. The reason why it is that they're spotty in the first place is due to the fact that these are not people that you can really count on. You know, they're really not people that you can count on at all. Um, because here they are, know that they and they know that they're uh, being deliberately um, uh, spotty with you, where it kind of seems like they're there for you, but not all the time. And this is just starting out, right? This is just you just now starting to uh, get to know some people and they're already showing you this type of uh, ignorance, right? They're already showing you this type of uh, disrespect. And the hangman represents, yes, it represents Pisces, but the hangman represents, they're using you as a scapegoat because like it is that I said before, people who run games, not only do they like you, but people who run games, they're not that bright. Because when's the last time you Virgos have ever seen somebody really win, right? And this is why it is that there's a mentality of the, the, the divine or the source does not like ugly. And what I mean when I say ugly, I mean um, spiritually corrupt or corrupted people just in general. And you would think that people would get the idea that they're, they're essentially two ways, two main ways of doing it. You can essentially be decent people and you will win. S sure, it's guaranteed that you'll win. Or you can be an indecent person, be corrupted and lose. And for some odd reason, people don't want to win. People are so, some people could be so stupid to the point where they just decide that they're going to take the, the path that we already have seen a million times and it never wins without exception. But people are going to go ahead and they're going to take this path. So that's what it is that they're doing. They're scapegoating you. And then the thing is, is that now you have the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Cups. You Virgos understand that you don't have to take that. So anybody right now that was giving you a difficult time for, for you Virgos that have done the internal work, you've done way more work, you understand that you're not going to put up with this and you Virgos would have bounced. For you other Virgos who may need a little bit of help, now is not necessarily the time for you to be thinking about whether or not you should stay with them you, or, or leave. You should most definitely leave because it's not to say that these people are going to any are, are going to ever get any better because if you're waiting on them to come to their senses they're not corrupted people don't come to their senses like that okay it's a person that wants to come back it's a person that wants to be redeemed 
is how it is that they essentially come back. But when you have a person who thinks that they're correct in the nonsense that they're doing, the way that some of these people are, the ones that, you know, for you Virgos that have been dealing with these people, they're not ever going to come back. And this is why it is I say that you have to learn in one instance to, to give up on hope because hope is, is copium. That's what hope is. It's coping. It's the idea of you're not really understanding the reality of the situation. So you're holding on too tightly because you don't really want to come to the realization and actually have to do something about the idea of the fact that those people are corrupted. And when a person is corrupted, unless they want to redeem themselves, there's nothing that you can really do ever. There's nothing that you can ultimately do. And it is ultimately a waste of time to try to, you know, uh, keep these people around in your life. Because you know what's going to happen if you try to keep these people around? These people are going to be dysfunctional as they can possibly be around you for spite. And they're going to try to do everything that they possibly can to sabotage you. They're already trying to do it. And you're just now getting to know them. Let alone if you stick around, it's probably, it, I guarantee you, not probably, it is going to get worse. The Ten of Cups represents you're supposed to end that relationship for, for you Virgos who may not necessarily know what to do. Yeah, you got to end the relationship. That's a dub. That should be a dub for you. Because, and when I say a dub for you, I'm not saying that I'm dubbing you. I'm saying that you should be dubbing them. You should leave them behind. You should be excommunicating them. And the reason why you need to do that is because I just explained it to you. They're not going to get any better. They're only going to get worse. The Ten of Cups, learn to walk away. Learn to put that emotion to the side because you need to understand, again, the Seven of Cups, you have other options. You don't have to stick around only them. You really do have other options. You've got other things going on. You don't have to hang out with them. Then you have the the chariot and the lovers. Now the lovers represents Gemini, which is the other zodiac sign that rules over, uh, uh, well, I should say Mercury rules over, right? Virgo and Gemini. But you have the, um, the chariot and the lovers. So the chariot represents, because another thing too that's gonna happen is if you were to stay with them, they would just be more bickering and arguing, more more disagreements right they're the lovers here they are trying to convince you that they're so much in love with you and all this goofy stuff when in actuality all it is that they're doing is they're not showing it to you they will tell you that they like you maybe not you know maybe maybe they may use the word love maybe they won't but they'll tell you that they like you or love you but when it comes to actually practically showing you that they like you that's theory. And what is theory? It's BS. It's nonsense. That's what theory is. Literally, theory is nonsense. That's the definition of it. So it's BS. So the thing about it is that the lovers now, these people telling you that they like you, they love you and all this other type of stuff. You Virgo shouldn't even be listening to what these goofy individuals have got to say. All it is that you Virgos need to do is just pay attention to, to your lives since you've met these people and you'll understand what exactly is going on. These people are dysfunctional and they're hoping that you Virgos take it lightly on them so that they can continue their own dysfunctionality, especially around you. So this is where it is that you have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is, is that for some of you Virgos, this is a very empower, empowering time because you Virgos will eventually get out. For some of you who are more adept at this, you understand what to do. You know what to do. You've already gotten yourselves out of this. From this person who's disrespectful, from this person who likes to play games, waste your time, waste their own time. You Virgos have stopped hanging out with them, the ones who are more on point. For some of you Virgos who are lacking a little bit, a lot of a lot of you Virgos need to understand that where you are right now, you're going to have yourselves a, a, a situation to get out. 
to get out. So the thing about it is to get out of the relationship or to get out of talking to them just in general. The Knight of Swords and the Three of Pentacles represents, but if they see you ready to leave, where if you live with them, they're not going to like the fact that you're ready to bounce. So when you leave someone, especially especially around this time, I would suggest you Virgos just ghost them. Because announcing announcing that you're leaving or you're going to leave these people, it's only going to make matters worse. These people are, they don't want to ever really let you go. And the Three of Pentacles is that because for them, you are their property, unfortunately. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that this is how they think of you. On one hand, they think of you as being their property. So let's clarify these cards. Let's clarify the hanged man. One more shuffle. Okay, so you so the thing about it is is that you have the to clarify the hangman, you have the Empress, which is now the hangman represents you. So the Empress, the Six of Swords, the Six of Cups, oh wow, the Four of Cups. The Empress represents, yeah. You're not gonna hang around people who who treat you like trash. Why even have enemies in the first place if you have people who are treating you like trash. Doesn't make any kind of sense. So the Empress represents you Virgos are, are, are very much so ready to stop talking to and hanging around, you know, these people because you realize for, for the ones that are more on point, you realize that it's not worth it being with them because they don't really, they don't bring anything valuable to the table. They bring nonsense. So why would you Virgos decide to hang out with them, right? Maybe at first when you were getting to know them, you gave them a fair try, a fair, you know, a fair shake, but you can't do that now. The Six of Swords and the Six of Cups represents um these are these could be potentially people that you may have stopped talking to that you reconnected. And if that's the case, then this person is most definitely out for revenge because that's how it is that people do whenever it is that they try to, you know, those types, those types of, of, of relationships, you know, where, you know, people who are caught up in that delusion, you know, that long delusion, because it's the mentality of you're not supposed to leave them. They're supposed to leave you because they have extreme abandonment issues. So they're running all these games to see if you'll leave them or not. And, and the situation with that is, is that is that you left them the first time more than likely, but they didn't like the fact that you left them. So what it is that they doing, they want you back on one hand, but then on the other hand, they can't stop themselves from being highly insecure and thinking that you're gonna do it again. So now they're looking at it like they gotta figure something out. They gotta figure a way out to break you spiritually right break you internally constitutionally so that you virgos don't ever leave them alone again this is the type of, of mentality that these people have the four of cups is is that you uh, you were supposed to originally right for the virgos that got back with the person started talking to the person you Virgos were supposed to do this. They were the ones that was offering you the cup and you should have had your hands crossed like, nah, I'm good. You know, some of you Virgos are evolved enough, right? Where, you know, you pretty much skipped this reading and you essentially uh, continuing to talk to other people. But for some of you Virgos or a lot of you Virgos who understand what's going on here and this reading applies to you, you know, you should have essentially gave them the cold shoulder. You you should have kept it pushing. Um, let's clarify some more cards. Let's clarify the the um, the two of wands. Let's clarify the two of wands. So to clarify the two of wands, the four of pentacles, the three of pentacles, the eight of cups and the strength right so be, and the reason why is because this is a situation where the four of pentacles and the three of pentacles is about how this person is not going to change their ways they're too stubborn the four of pentacles is 
the card of of stubbornness you know and the three of pentacles is that you know they may be thinking they may be talking to their friends about you you know quiet as is kept well now the secret's out but they may be talking to their friends about you you know about how it is that you know the two of you got back together and all this other type of stuff and how it is that you know you were the ones that were stalking them and you wouldn't leave them alone one day you virgos just started stalking them all that hogwash all of that nonsense all of that gobbledygook the Eight of Cups now and the Strength now represents, but in actuality, you really wanted to leave them alone. The Eight of Cups, you were the one that dipped out prior to or, or before they started talking to you again. But the, the Strength, they're going to try to, again, with their friends, that's not how it is that they're going to tell it. They're going to flip it around with their friends because they don't want their friends to know that they're really, you know, they're really like this outside of uh what people perceive them they want to put up this front like their own point and that people you know worship the ground that they walk on that you virgos worship the ground that they walk on and that's not true <laughs> that's not true at all but that's not how it is that they're gonna tell it in their own history book they're gonna tell it a a, a, a different way even though that way is contrary to reality of what actually happened so now let's clarify the um the seven of cups let's clarify the seven of cups now so to clarify the seven of cups you have the ace of swords the nine of cups ace of wands and then you have the ace of cups to clarify the seven of cups oh okay the ace of uh the ace of of swords represent how yeah you're supposed to break up with them right it just in case if you got back together with them for some of you virgos you're supposed to break up with them for you virgos that are not with these people you're not supposed to go back to them because again here they go seeking revenge. They want you back on one hand, while on the other hand, they're seeking re revenge because somewhere along the lines, everything is going to start up good, but their, their jealousy is going to rear its ugly head. And now all of a sudden, you know, they, you know, they're going to start to become delirious again. You know, these delusional people, how they do, and they're going to start to misperceive reality again. And the thing about it is, is that, yeah, you're not supposed to hang out with them, you know. But for you Virgos that have, a lot of you Virgos found out the hard way that these people are not changing. So the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Wands now represents, and the Ace of Cups now represents, you have to learn to become uh, satisfied with how it is that it ended for you Virgos that decided to go back or begin to talk to them. Or maybe they started spazzing out on you soon after you started to talk to them again fairly recently. Either way, that this is your closure. You may not necessarily want that to be your closure, but most definitely this is your closure. The Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups here represents this is also a situation for you uh, of Virgos where, because all it is that they're going to do is bring difficulty into your life, baggage, you know, conflict, unnecessary conflict. The two of you are not evolving because of this conflict, but they're going to bring conflict into your life just because. And then you have the Ace of Cups while at the same time telling you that they love you and that they appreciate you. This is the type of sick-minded nonsense that they that they uh, acted like they were going to try to kick to you. Or well, for some of you Virgos, they did kick to you. But but some of you Virgos out of your out of the bunch, y'all weren't even with them. They're coming by now. But for some of you Virgos, right, they they're just now uh, contacting you now. But luckily, you, you watch this video because you know what time it is. You know not to take them back. <sighs> okay, so let's clarify this now. So 
Um, let's clear. Let's clarify the wheel of fortune. Let's clarify the wheel of fortune. Okay, so to clarify the wheel of fortune, we have the ten of swords, the five of wands, the five of swords, and then we have the high priestess. So, again, this is a situation for. Uh, to clarify the Wheel of Fortune, this is a situation where remember all of the messed up stuff that they did to you. For some of you Virgos that may have a hard time, because some of you Virgos do, you're, you're having a hard time breaking away from this person right now. Remember all the messed up things that they did to you and said to you and how it is that they didn't care and they rubbed it in your face. The Five of Wands, the Five of Swords represents, so what do you got to do? You have to understand that this is what the relationship with them is going to be. Conflict, beef, trauma, problems. So you have to learn to get away from that. And then you have the high priestess, right? The high priestess is Virgo, but you know, um, you have to ghost them. You're not gonna be able to settle any kind of peaceful agreement with these people and walk away peacefully. It's not gonna happen. These people are too, they, these people are too conflict driven. They love the conflict of it all. And they love having a conflict with you because you're too good of a people. So when it comes to some people who are dysfunctional, you can't hang around those types of people. So what do you do? You got to ghost them. It's the only way that you're going to actually be able to get out. Don't forget about your reputation with this person because that's the catch-22 of it all, Virgo. The idea that they're going to keep you around and be dysfunctional. They're not actually planning on changing, right? Uh, but when you ask these people, um, you know, if they want to break up, they're never going to tell you, yeah. You're going to have to be the one to be the, the, the villain of the story, according to them, because they're delusional. So that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers by the end of June. As of right now, I have 7,330 some odd subscribers. Please smash the subscribe button, smash that like button, hit the notification bell, set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.